Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have some unboxing to do. Um, this is a light from the title and the thumbnail, you already know that. I don't know why I sometimes feel like I'm keeping it a secret for a moment. It's a Reaver Citadel, which is a very expensive, very nice light. Um, and this is a package of some batteries for it, because shipping batteries is a bummer, and I bought this on the secondary in the center preferred to not deal with sending a battery in it. So I ordered some batteries, the ones that the seller recommended, um, and they happened to both arrive today, literally in the same drop, which was perfect. So I'm gonna open the light first and then I'll bust open a battery so we can toss one in and uh, see how it functions. But let me see what the best way to get into this box is. I guess I'm just gonna kind of cut through the label here. This is very, very well taped. Kudos to the dude I bought this from. I, uh, I don't love it when I'm getting something expensive and it shows up and it's like hardly taped. That's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> dude, come on. Um, but yeah, this is really well done. All right, cut in here. There we go. Box is open. Set the knife in my crotch because we're gonna need it again in just a minute. All right, there's like a card thing here. And then a bubble wrapped pouch, soft pouch covered in bubble wrap, and then everything was set into peanuts. Well done. All right, I guess let's see what's in the envelope first. This should just be, that's a thank you card from Reaver Arms. Thanks for the port, thanks for the support, I should say. Can't talk tonight. And then, I'm not sure, is that Jesse? Is that the guy at Reaver? I don't know. Um, got a Reaver sticker. Very cool. I dropped it. We have a CWF lights custom, CWF custom flashlights.com. I guess that's where he ordered this from. I don't know. Is that Citadel? Never seen. Reaver is the company. I don't know what that is. Um, and then the certificate of authenticity. Citadel, serial number 308, material tie, driver dragon, LED 2195000KR. I'm new to lights. I'm new to nice lights. I've got another really nice one coming real soon too. So that'll be cool. Uh, and then signed, same signature as what's on the card. So cool. Then the other thing the seller included for me is this little guy. I think this is what goes like around the diodes, the lights, whatever you call them. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm gonna sound like an idiot to the people who know flashlights already. I'm just, I'm new to it. Um, but this is an extra that the guy didn't have to include who I bought it from, but he was nice and did. So it's like a reddish, almost pink, bright thing to put in the light. All right, put that there. I guess I might as well keep all this together. All right, I'm going to toss that where the sticker landed. Great. Now, the light. So if I remember correctly, Reaver had a booth at USN, and I handled some of the lights there. <laughs> this thing looks sick. It's just set here in this pouch. Um, and I was tempted to get one there at the show, and I passed on it, and I shouldn't have. I, I wish that I had gotten one, because I've just wanted one since. I guess now it's all coming together. I've got one. But... This is one of the coolest looking lights that exist on the market, in my opinion. I guess to some people it might be maybe a little too much. I know specifically in some of the crazy materials, for me it's too much. But this plain titanium version, the simple clip, I think it looks awesome. And uh, as we're getting into the winter months, let me start opening one of these batteries. As we're getting into the winter months here, I'm wearing like jeans and a jacket a lot more and I'm finding myself way more interested in the idea of carrying a bigger, heavier light. Um, in the summer, a lot of the time, I don't even have a light on me at all unless I've got my fanny pack. But if I'm wearing a jacket or a, a decent pair of pants, then it's no biggie to have a light with me. So I figured now would be the right time to give some bougie lights a try. All right, this is pretty rad. I ordered these from Illumination Supply. A lumen, something like that. Um, and they shipped in these nice little boxes, all protected by foam. I just got a few of them because I figured, why not? They weren't that expensive each. Um, 
And let me tell you exactly what kind of battery this is because I'm not going to remember off the top of my head. This is a 16340, 3.7 volt lithium MN, I don't know. Um, I'll just hold it up so you can see there. Hopefully that is clear. And if you're looking for these, you can just pause it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so these are rechargeable as well, which I've got a charger inbound as well. So that's cool. Let's toss one in here. Let's see how this sucker looks turned on. That's what she said. Um, all right, that just slots right down in there. Looks like that's the driver, if I know anything, which I don't, but I think I've heard that. This is a Dragon driver, right? CWF Dragon. It says Dragon on it. All right, I think that's the driver. All right, this just threads on nice and easy. It does have an O-ring in there, which is nice. And that's cool, it stops kind of right where it's perfectly lined up because this is all milled. So I like that that matches. All right, let's see. So red, brighter red, light, lighter, bright, super bright, even brighter, back to red. Okay, that's cool. So, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how cycling through these modes works, <laughs> but it's got a bunch of modes and it's just a simple clicky little tail switch, which is my preference, I think. It's just simple to use. Um, I like that it's got the red too. You can kind of soft touch. The red's cool. Oh yeah, look at that, super bright red. So it's here, it's cool. I have batteries for it and I'm excited to start carrying it. It doesn't feel quite as heavy as I was kind of anticipating it feeling in a really good way. I feel like I was worried that it was gonna be, it was gonna seem stupid heavy and it's not. Maybe some of the ones I'd handled before were like brass and copper and stuff and this just being titanium is really, really nice. Plus the finishing is good. It's a good also like user-ish finish. It's kind of like stonewashed titanium. Um, I don't know if this is stonewashed or raw tie or what. I guess it's just raw tie, but it looks user-friendly to me. Should be cool. So I now have a ridiculously expensive, very nice flashlight. This is a new thing for me and I'm excited about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start carrying it and testing it out. I use EDC lights quite a bit. I've got quite a few of them around, mostly O lights, some stream lights, stuff like that, a couple surefires. Um, but this is a different ball game completely. <laughs> this is playing a different game, right? So we'll see how it goes and whether it's worth it. If not, they tend to hold their value pretty well. So I guess I could resell it. Um, but I have a feeling that I'm going to end up enjoying it. We'll see. All right. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Appreciate it as always. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.